solve the system x plus 4y minus 2z equals 3, 2x plus 4z equals negative 2, and x plus y plus z plus 2w equals 2 using the method of elimination. So let's start by taking these three equations and writing them in the sort of stacked row form. So we have x plus 4y minus 2z equals 3. We have 2x plus 4z equals negative 2. And we have x plus y plus z plus 2w equals 2. So we can solve this by converting it into a matrix in row echelon form. So the first column would be 1, 2, 1. The second column would be 4, 0, 1. Then negative 2, 4, 1. And then 0, 0, 2. And then the final column would be 3, minus 2, 2. So this is the augmented matrix who represents the system. Now we can begin the elimination by eliminating the two numbers below the first pivot. If we scale the top row through by negative 2, we would obtain negative 2, negative 8, positive 4, 0, and negative 6. If we scale the top row through by a negative 1, we would obtain negative 1, negative 4, positive 2, 0, and negative 3. Now we can add these two rows together, keeping the top row unchanged we would have a new row 2 of 0, minus 8, positive 8, 0, minus 8. And we would also have a new third row of 0, minus 3, 3, 2, and minus 1. Notice that the uh, third row could be scaled, or sorry, the second row could be scaled by a negative 1 eighth to get 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 1. And the bottom row could be scaled by a negative 1 to obtain 0, 3, negative 3, negative 2, 1. And the top row unchanged. Now that we have a pivot in row 2, let's get rid of the pivot below that. So we're going to take that second row and scale it by a negative 3. That would give us 0, negative 3, positive 3, 0, and negative 3. Adding these rows together, we're going to have a new bottom row of 0, 0, 0, minus 2, minus 2. And the other rows stay unchanged. So let's fill them in here. Notice that that bottom row can be scaled down by a negative 1 half. So let's do that now. Also notice that this matrix is in row echelon form and it's almost reduced row echelon form because there are zeros below the pivot positions and also above the pivot positions except in one spot right there. If we could eliminate this four we would be in reduced row echelon form. Since it's one row operation away let's do it now. We'll scale the second row through by negative four and add it to the top row. That's going to give us a zero, negative four, positive four, zero, negative four. And now if we add these two rows together, we're going to have a new top row of 1, 0, 2, 0, minus 1. And the other rows remain unchanged. This matrix is now in reduced row echelon form. We should be able to use this to find the answers very, very efficiently. So let's do that now. We'll translate them back into a system of equations to solve that. The first row translates to the equation x plus 0y plus 2z plus 0w equals minus 1. The second equation translates to y minus z plus 0w equals 1. And the last equation translates to w equals 1. Notice that each one of these equations have x, y, and w. We can solve for these three variables, but not the z. In fact, we can solve for the other variables in terms of z. x becomes minus 1 minus 2z, y becomes 1 plus z, and w becomes 1, with z being free. So this is the information we've got right now, but this is not the way we want to write the answer. What we want to do is have formulas for all of the variables. So what we'll do is we'll simply set z to be a dummy variable, call it alpha, and write the other ones in terms of alpha. So x is minus 1 minus 2 alpha, y is 1 plus alpha, and z is w, or w is 1. 